Hi, and welcome back. When last we left, we had found out Mercer's plans as he attempts to go after the eyes of the Falma. Renyolf, and now, time has come to decide Mercer's Kalaya fate. wants to speak Until to us. Until a new master is chosen, the decision falls to you. Aye, lass. And I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. To die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing, and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Oh, cool. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the stone. I'm preparing to leave for the standing stone. What is it? Right, so... Let's head out to the standing stone and see what we need to do. We need to meet him on equal footing. So, how oh, that's going to be, I don't know, but we will find out. And these are the Falmar, who have no eyes. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. There's the standing stone. Ah, I think that's the Nightingale emblem. I'm glad you're here. What's the significance? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Okay, tell me Gallus, about the Nightingales. Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Are they part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. Okay. The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal. A place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Right, well, she's going to be one of the gods. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. Huh. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense, and sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock? Or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket. It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Right, so every time someone was alerted to my pickpocketing, she screwed me over. Noted. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? Probably yes. No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though.
It's my hope that you will, yes. Ooh. This way, please. Well, I'm joining every organization. This place is like a cave. Hmm. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Grinyov? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Okay, so I can understand myself, Brynjolf, yourself. But, um... Fendo? This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. No. If you'll both proceed to the armor to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Would you look at that? Okay. So we have an armory. Let's have a look. Which is a rock. Okay, need to equip the armor then. Alright. That looks cool anyway. And for good measure, let's stick the sword on, shall we? Nice. You appear ready for the oath. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. enough to make your head spin, eh? You appear ready for the oath. Okay, she's just saying the same thing over and over, but... Uh... Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You appear ready for the oath. Oh my god, say it once more. Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the... To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? And become a potential Draga? Yeah, why not? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. And, yeah, of course, I can't pull the chain. Ah. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. So, we shall leave it here, and when we come back, becoming a nightingale. See you all soon.